Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Nikon Mystik, or Miroslav from Wikimedia Serbia. And I'm going to tell you like briefly what we did, how is our Serbian Wiki way to do a uh, community recruitment. And what we have seen in our uh, community is uh, insufficient youth engagement, as probably everywhere else. Uh, there's also a lack of motivation within uh, student communities or uh, like high school students and uh, university. So then there is a constant need of, of uh, skill improvement, meaning that uh, students ha want to be uh, involved in some work, but mostly they just do not find like uh, their their own uh, practical work for for what they're studying. So what they what they did uh, is they they try to find like some uh, some organizations such as uh, Wikimedia Movement, and they want to uh, actually in, be involved in anything. So for example, if they study um, I don't know like a mechanics, they cannot find for example. Uh, the practical work anywhere, so they decide to maybe uh, learn new things by writing articles about the subject that they are into. And then uh, increase of online activities, meaning that actually everything uh, currently happening in the education world in some ways have to include uh, online world. So that's what we are trying to get them together. Then uh, what we, like the personal situation what we have is uh, we want to strengthen volunteer capacity in edu program meaning not only yeah thank you uh, not only uh, in uh, like volunteering capacity meaning uh, for our events but also to have active participators inside the participants inside the, uh, the high school and universities so what we did is we installed uh, certain uh, wiki uh, ambassadors from 2014 in University of Belgrade, which is the biggest university in Serbia, uh, and then we spread these uh, these how can I say insiders uh, into many uh, univer into many faculties. Uh, like particular faculties, it would be students like a first or second year and they would go uh, throughout their education to be our allies, meaning our gateway to their professors. Uh, for example, they can go to, if it's high school, they can go to their um, certain teacher or teacher of, uh, 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 what's it called? Um, oh my god, the thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, Okay, za computer to the name of the system. Computer sciences? Well, yeah, let's say. And uh, they can just do that, like they can uh, say to their teachers uh, uh, that like they would like to have Wikimedia or just any project or Wikipedia uh, in their, uh, in their uh, curriculum and then professors just like that and then sometimes they write a book about that and then we end up as a part of curriculum. So that was something that happened, but doesn't happen always. So what we want to do is to spread these. So uh, to spread the the amount of these people in many universities, as many universities as we can. Uh, so how we do that, and we did it two years in a row. Um, what we actually did is we organized Edu Wiki Camp. Yeah. Trademark. <laughs> uh, so what what we did is we wrote um, like mm, what's it, it's application. Uh, we put it on site notice. We put it uh, everywhere on like these student organization uh, sites, and uh, it was uh, an event that mm, that could host fifteen people. That's how much we we um, we programmed. Uh, 15 people, we had more than 70 uh, applications, we found universities that we don't have any people inside, like, you know, insiders, right? So what we did, we chose 15 of the ones who, uh, like, wrote the best letter or just, uh, we, we thought that they were most qualified to, to be involved in this. Then we uh, took them to isolated location, meaning that uh, we found a place where they would not they would not focus on anything else but learning about wiki 
and everything else that we need. So uh, what we did is we programmed a uh, five days uh, plan into, like we, we split it into three parts roughly. Uh, one is all about teaching about Wikipedia, about Wikimedia movement, about uh, commons and licenses and all the stuff that they just have to know as a basis. Then we did um, the, 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 what's the second part? Uh, we actually inspired them to see what can happen, like they, they, if they want, they can do uh, Wiki Ambassador work, let's say, uh, they can volunteer for Wikimedia Serbia, they can get involved in some uh, projects, they can write their own projects, that's also a very important part that we did, which is uh, actually, you know, you open all the, the doors and you show them what is what, what they can do, and then they just find what is the closest for them and what is the most interesting. And uh, what we also did is uh, we, uh, just as Susanna said yesterday, we programmed all the day for s so many activities. So one of the activities were, of course, uh, photo, uh, photo tours, because th that's the little star next to isolated. We find uh, places that don't have anything around, but uh, that they actually have very good, uh, well, let's say, uh, uh, he national heritage monuments, uh, mostly uh, there are uh, like churches or monasteries, there are also uh, like a natural, uh, natural heritage, yeah? Natural so yeah, it can be like canyons, rivers, anything that is interesting for uh, taking photos. <clears throat> Sorry, then uh, we also did uh, like bonding time, which is uh, at the end of the day when everyone is tired, we don't just let them go to sleep, no. Uh, in our, <laughs> in our EduWiki camps, we uh, actually inspire them to uh, get to know each other as much as they can, because uh, if they get to be um, like colleagues, meaning uh, Wiki uh, ambassadors, they can actually make this, or use this bond that they created at the very beginning, and they can create like inter-university or inter-school um, cooperation. So... I just have to add that yeah. those camps lasted for five days. Okay, you just said, but uh, uh, five days per camp. So. Yeah. There are uh, several photo tours. So, yeah, uh, we, for all these five days, there were, of course, of course, uh, like, days uh, that were planned for going through all these. For example, we didn't take just one group. We usually split them into at least two groups so that they can uh, take photos of as many things as they can. And uh, that, like, we don't have same photos on Wiki Commons, which is, like, my, my, my worst uh, nightmare. So... The thing is, um, yeah, they they used, ah, of course, when they take photos of these places, uh, they also have like, a, well, it's not edit-a-ton, it's uh, just, what do you call it, yeah, okay, it is edit-a-ton, uh, so they write about the things that they've seen, they illustrate the articles, so they do practical work of the things that they learned the day before. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> because I participated, so I just want to add, for example, they uh, had a small contest, uh, for, we said, okay, we're going to um, uh, put tw tw no, 200 photos in the articles, and we are uh, competing uh, uh, to reach that number, so that was Not one of the activities. Okay, uh, so yeah, when, what else? Yeah, we did quizzes, which is like uh, to actually uh, teach them how, for example, we give them a lot of examples of photos and, and tell them like, okay, is this public domain, is this that, so they, sorry, so they can guess and they can actually learn on these examples. Um, then with quizzes, we did, yeah, we did role play, which is with uh, Nebuisha here, so he was uh, presenting, uh, a school or a faculty, and then they had to pair up to actually get this program, like wiki program that we're doing, to explain to a certain uh, university. So he was the representator and representer, and then he uh, he played various roles of like positive or someone who is saying like 
the usual, oh, Wikipedia is no, 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 then you have someone who is really acceptable about that. So, you know, we, uh, we try to get them into most various situations so that they can learn how to do that because it will happen in, the, in real life. Um, yeah, so what we did with our results, by the way, the results of the second ones are not really here because it just happened like two months ago, right? Yeah. Uh, so the first one we got really lucky because some of the students who participated ended up as um, first like of course uh, Wikipedia editors, then wiki volunteers on various events and projects, then uh, wiki ambassadors, uh, meaning that they actually succeeded to uh, get in, like involved in their uh, university activities, and uh, some of them became board members of Wikimedia Serbia. So it is like new uh, youth, how can you say, youth brains or like new meat, I don't know how you say it. So <laughs> blood, for, blood. Yeah, new blood, okay. New so blood. It's either meat or blood. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> for our uh, like, new, you know, brand new ideas that can be brought into the, the board. So uh, then, let me see. Uh, uh, yeah, so as I already said, they, they all got together, so they were uh, involved in networking uh, with other youth throughout Serbia, meaning youth uh, organizations in various cities, which is not only Belgrade. Uh, so <clears throat> what they did is they promoted wiki ideas. So when we had our editatons, when we had our gatherings, they also created in their own home cities. Uh, then, of course, yeah, most of them contributes to EDU program, which means that uh, I believe like 70% of them uh, got into their universities successfully, or like they found someone who is willing enough to, to get uh, involved. Uh, also, what, uh, what they are doing is assisting us with workshops, uh, Wiki Corner. Uh, we, if for you that don't know, uh, Wiki Corner is a thing which is like you make a stand in in uh, in like sorry um, uh, well okay. events that are that are really visited. For example, in Belgrade you have uh, like carnivals, you have um, the Night of Explorers. I would say is the translation. Night of the museums. The, uh, uh, night yeah. of the museums. European but, museum night. Yeah, but we have like Noci Straživača, which is. No, uh, research, researchers, researchers night, yeah. Researchers so night. that's uh, that's gathered in so many cities around Serbia. They have a huge truck and they go around and they uh, they just promote science. So we were part of that truck and in these cities that they visited. Uh, then uh, link with faculties, as I said, and uh, wiki student is, of course, it it uh, involved. No evolves uh, through this cooperation with professors, they actually put it as a part of cu curriculum uh, to, instead of writing uh, seminars or like papers, they do it in uh, Wikipedia, of course, but you're aware of that. Um, yeah, we had three new board members uh, and eight uh, Wiki ambassadors from last year. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so uh, we, our lessons that we learned through, through, these, through organizing these uh, camps is that it has to be very interactive. They cannot be uh, bored for like five minutes and you know that uh, students' attention span is approximately that much. So what we did is we, I told you, we, we filled out uh, the, the plan for every day from the morning to the evening, of course, leaving them like a lot of breaks, a lot of uh, um, socializing events, that, the, like, or just uh, places where they can hang out and re rest for a bit. Uh, then, uh, yeah, put, put them out of civilization, but close to sight. Uh, of course, internet was always a problem, but we managed that by buying a um, portable router, right? Uh, and then, because whenever you ask these uh, these hotels or just places where you want to have conference, uh, they uh, promise that it's going to be well, that it's going to be really fast. Then it ends up uh, not being able to open like even Wikipedia pages. So we got uh, sick of that. We just found our own way, and it's working for us. 
then after the event, it's very important to maintain the, the communication with them, either, which was the best uh, solution, uh, by Facebook groups or by mailing lists, but students and uh, mails are not really something that is... Uh, modern or I don't know why but still they don't want mails they want something that is more want to communicate them more live chat. <laughs> mm, they're not gonna <laughs> in our way no uh, then we organize periodical meetups mostly in Belgrade we are planning to do it also throughout Serbia in these cities where we have like established community of, of youth um, very important thing is to be there for them, meaning that whenever they have a problem regarding article writing, or regarding uh, something that happens in the university, uh, some like uh, disputes with their other professors who are against it, we are there to be like to support them, to even like help them maybe organize this meeting with professors that are not for it, and then just like make it closer to them to understand. Um, <clears throat> Of course, it's important to uh, increase their motivation by giving significance to their work. So, meaning, uh, Wiki Ambassador is called Ambassador for a reason, so that they actually feel that it's an important um, title for them. So, it, it's not going to be volunteer randomly. Uh, no offense to all the volunteers here. Uh, but still, like this gives them some, uh, some credibility, and when they say, oh yeah, I'm a Wiki Ambassador at university, uh, they, it actually uh, makes them feel proud and special for doing that, what they're doing. Uh, also, uh, yeah, the thing here maybe is misleading, but uh, the university policy, which they, well, like where they are studying, can be sometimes uh, very detrimental uh, for them, meaning that they, uh, if they're like most of the professors are old school, they don't really accept new things. So they will, in our uh, perspective, say that that is something negative. So uh, when you are like uh, sending some wiki ambassador to their university, you are uh, tr you are trying to see if there is any possibility of work. So either from uh, pre previous uh, previous like uh, cooperations with those universities, we are trying to target the student, the professors who actually have this uh, will to, to change their curriculum, to do even slightest change, to actually put this uh, interactive knowledge in, in place. Um, so regarding our future plans, we are planning to continue this idea in some third uh, location, which would be like out of civilization. Uh, we are trying to target new faculties in Serbia. Of course, there is also a problem when these students are uh, going to uh, end their studies, right? So we have to find them someone who will change them, who will um, be in the, their place, sorry. So uh, this is also one of the situations where we might uh, like think about these faculties that we already have someone there in case that they need to find the replacement. Um, then, okay, yeah, okay, I'm almost done, I'm sorry. So, we are trying to introduce dictionary and wiki data there in the, uh, in the camp so that they can actually get involved with that too. So, it's the best thing with uh, Wiktionary is a uh, student, a faculty of uh, philology, and wiki data is, of course, the, the programmers and all those uh, computer students so <laughs> and to, of course to include more students meaning uh, to maybe increase the number of the participants so in conclusion it was very successful la la you see this so <laughs> I don't have any more time right shall I read la 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 <laughs> please no. so yeah there, it's a good thing that we had retention of these uh, participants around 75 percent they're actively involved uh, they are uh, disseminating our idea through various models meaning all that I already said, uh, the, the faculties and uh, um, our events uh, inside Wikimedia Serbia. Um, and our ev evaluation score shows that we had exceptional results. Yeah. So, Questions? Oh, a lot. <laughs> Yeah.
So, congratulations. I have a suggestion uh, of a name for this program. You could call it the Wiki Brainwash. Okay. Apparently it's working really well. Um, I'm very impressed, especially by uh, this idea that over one year or two years, uh, people that participate will even become board members. Mm -hmm. To me, that's an indication of a very high involvement. So, uh, congratulations. That seems yes. uh, very effective. And I also really appreciate how um, you are do doing this as a, a deliberate strategy to reach out to more uh, universities. Uh, it seems very smart and you've already thought about how to give support, especially for those hard cases when you find teachers or uh, faculties uh, that are uh, resisting change. And so uh, you are already aware that you need to give support for that. So congratulations, that was great. Thank you. Here? Yeah, I also wanted to say that it's quite impressive. Um, usually the retention is the thing and people actually contributing and becoming active uh, active um, vegans. Um, I think it is probably because it's your approach, you know, this five day thing that afterwards, as you said, the brain was you're really into it. It's, um, Usually in Germany, what what volunteers do is it's at the most two-day workshops, mm -hmm. um, but often just one afternoon for all sorts of target groups. And the problem is always that people learn a little bit how to edit, but not enough to feel comfortable in Wikipedia, so afterwards they don't do anything. And um, I was wondering, do you have any like any summary of that, something in English that I could share with the German community? Because I think it would be awesome for them to learn about how you do that and maybe adapt the idea. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, you have the presentation now, of course. It's uh, here where the thing is, where the, my, my what, I don't know how it's called, the page of my, yeah, yeah, everywhere, all that. So, so uh, of course that, but we have, I, um, Nebush, I just have to, Nebush, do we have anything else? We have English uh, summary of all what happened in these, right? Uh, yeah, but uh, about uh, camp, uh, we are preparing material for outreach, so we'll be there like in a, maybe a few weeks. <laughs> we come back with that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So you will have more information about that that you um, can spread. I'm just gonna uh, add a comment. Sure. Um, well, uh, the, the mo I think the most important thing because I, I was. There are uh, two wiki camps. Uh, camp. uh, the most important thing sure. is that. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so, uh, so the the important thing is uh, the the program should be more uh, the interesting for them. So there could be edit tones, but those edit tones cannot just okay just sit there and edit some topic. Uh, there should be, for example, if we go uh, to um, uh, take a photo of some monasteries or some uh, natural heritage or something, then we come uh, come back and say, okay, let's uh, write about this or, or illustrate articles about this. And this year also we had, um, as previous, we had those quizzes because I, I was having a presentation about uh, Creative Commons licenses and I was thinking, like, this is going to be so boring for them. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to say that in 15 minutes and I'm not gonna give, uh, I'm got, not, not gonna get uh, any questions, but they were like, no, it's super interesting. So this is really, uh, this was surprising for me. And also Nebosha was uh, a great actor <laughs> in that session about uh, different si uh, situations. Uh, about, okay, people said, like saying, he was a rude professor or professor who didn't have any time. So they really, really had uh, feeling like what is it like to come to your high school or your faculty and just come up to some uh, professors or assistants who don't want to cooperate. So this is uh, something normal, something uh, which is happening and you don't have to be um, dismotivated? No. Unmotivated. Unmotivated by that. So. This is something I wanted to. For example, what what just for a second, what we did also was uh, during the editathon, like they wrote one article about the things that they seen that day, and the other article about uh, like famous cartoon character that they like. So it was a spontaneous idea. No one wanted that, and we didn't have 
plan, but uh, every like everyone was like, okay, super great idea, it, because it was the the, the Facebook part, to, if you remember, to uh, a year ago when everyone put their famous or favorite uh, cartoon character as profile picture. So that was like inspired uh, the people to to actually edit about that. So. And we added some activities, for example, they had editathons or we had some uh, uh, competitions, small competitions. <laughs> a small competitions and who won the competition, He, uh, that team actually uh, said, okay, we are going to edit on this topic. So they feel yeah. like we are the, yeah, the important sure. ones. <laughs> we gave them like small prizes Any? for that. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly chocolate stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it always works. I mean, it, yeah, yeah it, it, it can be symbolic, you know. It's like you know, I got a prize, you know, any prize. You know. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> I just very brief questions. Okay, brief, and then go to lunch. You partly answer this part. How do you select and then persuade the person you want to have for these retreats? to come, because this is probably the, 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 the biggest problem, in fact. Uh, how do we actually attract... Well, Ivan, I wrote the, the application form. Can yes. you... I so, heard you. The team okay. okay. Um, so, yes, we had that application form where we uh, actually explained what we are going to do on that camp. And uh, in advance, they knew what they can learn, what they can uh, hear on that camp, and what they can do after that. So, this is important uh, for them to be familiar, are they wasting their, their time or not. And uh, this year was really, really good year because we had about 70... Uh, 70? 70. 68 uh, participants, uh, uh, sorry, uh, people to apply, applicants. Uh, so it was really, really hard uh, for us to do the, uh, that uh, selection. Um, but what we did, we actually saw a lot of people, uh, of course, uh, what they wrote and uh, from what faculty they are coming or um, are, do we have the, their activities or do we don't. So uh, there are several criteria, uh, or we also said, do you edit uh, Wikipedia, or did you ever edit in Wikipedia? Um, and it was like a really hard job, but we managed to do that. And also the other ones uh, who uh, wasn't um, selected, we uh, said, okay, we wrote a mail, you can actually participate in this project on your faculties, because we, uh, we do have those activities and you, you do have the chance to participate. It's not clear for me, is it positive or negative if somebody already edited Wikipedia? If, <laughs> if edited, if, is it positive or negative in the evaluation issue? No, uh, we yeah, actually wanted to have a balanced uh, number of uh, Wikipedians and those who are not Wikipedians. So they can actually learn from each other. So uh, the ones who are um, experienced Wikipedians or they edit Wikipedians or they um, attended uh, uh, some other camp, in our organization, uh, they actually uh, said, um, uh, said the newbies, uh, okay, we will teach you. So this is the, the, the connection we wanted to uh, achieve. Uh, and not just, uh, okay, you're newbies, we are going to uh, learn, teach you how to edit Wikipedia. But you need to learn from each other, not just uh, of editing Wikipedia, but also uh, how, uh, how the newbies see editing Wikipedia and also our education program or um, uh, cooperation with faculties or high schools. So this was actually, we wanted to have that balanced. At first, like uh, we actually paired up the more experienced Wikipedians and the newbies. So it was helpful for them to be like supervised and you know they can help them how to start editing. How to? It, it was really actually positive to have one tutor per per newbie. Yeah, and I would also like to add that we really paid attention well, on if they are coming from faculties we don't have cooperation okay. with, and we would like to to cooperate with. So that was like really important. Yeah, and we, when we had editathons, we were, we had several groups. So in those groups, there are not just Wikipedians. But we put the newbies and the Wikipedians as well as in the so, other. But groups. we targeted students from the universities where we don't have uh, like anyone, you, you know, any insight. Okay. In terms of budget, is it a significant part of Serbia's chapter's budgets, or is it like a, a small part? Well, me. Ivan. Well, I don't know. Well, um, I, I don't know the part of the budget, 
but for example, 3,000 euros, I think. No. 2,000 euros. For the 15 participants? Yes. The 15 for the whole organization, for the travel costs, for the accommodation, for the food, uh, etc. Um, uh, we do have some in kind donations um, on uh, several different events, such as, uh, as this one, so uh, we tend to keep that in mind when we are planning budget. So 2% of our budget. Sorry, someone else? No? Okay, thank you for listening. Thank you, Miki. Thank you. Thank you.